Outstanding. Joyce, are you sure that you took all of your luggage? Dad, you're doing it again. You can't control me like that. You always have to complain, don't you? Greetings. Another investigation, Mr. Brixon, in Europe? Not at all, my friend. I've come here to rest for some time. But it's been enough. I want to go back. I'm telling you guys, this is our day. Here goes Charlie trying to become a millionaire again. How many times has it been? Shut up, James. Well, at least he's trying. Mr. Ronald Arndt's rich man? Precisely. I will show you your apartment, sir. The stewards will take care of your luggage. Please consult Mr. Stanley about that matter. No, I'll do it myself. All third class passengers, please proceed to the sanitary control. Lies? Hey, don't look at me. David, you go first. I'm sure you'll feel better when we finally reach New York. Welcome aboard Titanic. Come, it's here. Come in, Your Highness. Well, those tickets were surely worth it. No kidding. It's better than my flat. Hmm. <laughs> Can't argue about that. In case you need me, I'm at your service. By the way, I would recommend choosing better paintings. These daubs have no future. Of course, sir. If I may ask, what is in the suitcase? The future, Mr. Stanley. It will guarantee the development of the Richmond family business for the upcoming years. Top secret documents I had to take with me on my trip to Europe. But we'll get to that later. First, we have to get back to New York. And when we reach our destination, things will finally get rolling. Time has come. Take ship to see me, sir. Yes, sir. We're leaving. All hands slow, Mr. Moody. Yes, sir. I cannot imagine any condition which would cause a ship to founder. And I cannot conceive of any vital disaster happening to this vessel. Modern shipbuilding has gone beyond that. So the journalists weren't wrong when they described Titanic as unsinkable? Mr. Aster, this ship's construction is a work of Mr. Andrews himself. It couldn't be otherwise. 
I just brought Mr. Ismay's ideas to life to talk. It has all of it. Not only size and safety, but also luxury. We took great care so the interiors would satisfy the highest of expectations. Indeed, it is a proud symbol of our times. However, some people question its speed, don't they? Your competitors say that it won't be able to beat Mauritania's record. For the time being, we don't want to race with Kunar. This is just the first cruise. We don't want to put too much pressure on the engines. But would it be a problem if you spent a few more hours in an environment like this? Please, forgive my daughter. Or bring her back right away. Oh no, please. Don't trouble yourself. After all, technology is not a topic for everyone. It is just another whim of hers. I'm telling you, when I become a millionaire, my only job will be riding in a gold carriage under the windows of such jerks like you. Give it up, Charlie. You're just making a fool of yourself. What are you looking at, my dear? The ocean? It's really beautiful. Joyce, those third-class gentlemen are not worth much. You know that. An elegant lady like you shouldn't waste her time on staring at them. Don't you think you are overreacting? I just want to protect you from their negative influence. Their idleness might be contagious. Come on, I didn't even talk to them. It's always better to prevent than cure. After all, you know that I care for you more than anything else in this world. That is the father's role. As you can see, things are not going well for me. My relations with my family are quite shallow. It's about your father, right? Not only him, but he never stops controlling me. After my mother's death, he began to see evil plots everywhere. He doesn't stop being a detective even after work. I'd like to help you somehow. You can't. He wouldn't even want to see you. He despises the... Low-class people. Well, as a low-class man, I would invite you to the ship's bow, but it looks like I'm not the only one with so little to offer. By the way, what do you do for a living, James? Actually, everything and nothing. There's no steady job for me, and I don't know where my life will take me. I borrowed eight pounds and bought a ticket for the Titanic. That's all I have. If you're done presenting your oh-so-great virtues, would you mind getting your filthy hands off my daughter? Mr. Brixen! I can't believe you're doing this! Also, Joyce, let me remind you there is an evening banquet to attend. I don't want to trouble your new friend by inviting him to this celebration. Come on, let's go. These banquets always end about 11 p.m. In the hall near the grand staircase. <laughs> 